In today's video, we're gonna be installing this cheap aluminum headache rack on my 2021 Jeep Gladiator. So let's get this thing unboxed here and take a look at what we've got. Okay, so here's a look through the instructions that come with this thing. It appears to be pretty simple. And here's a little bit better look about <clears throat> what comes in the box. Now, I will tell you this, the hardware actually looks half decent for Chinese hardware. And the rack looks like it's gonna be fairly durable. I mean, I paid $144 plus shipping for this thing. So I'm not expecting it to look the best nor be the best quality, but it should ought to keep me from knocking a back glass out of this truck and that's all we're really going for here so i guess i'm gonna slide it together and we'll start installing it on the truck <clears throat> all right so we got it to this point the other day and we realized that there is a problem if you look here if we line this up <clears throat> basically flush with the front of the trim and flush with the front of the trim here obviously it runs inward at a pretty severe angle uh, so these floor these mounting tabs were not welded on that pipe in the proper orientation it's the same way on that side, but not quite as severe. Also, we had a break up here in this piece of aluminum. So, I uh, emailed some pictures back to the company I ordered this from. And they said, okay, uh, sir, no problem. <clears throat> We're just going to send you another one. That was on Monday. It's now Wednesday. And it delivered this morning while I was at work. 
So we're going to unbox it and see if it's straight and proper. Well, so here we go. I got the second one partially mounted up on there. Uh, this is probably we're going to leave it for a day or two till I figure out some uh, other mounting solutions. Um, this one wasn't broke, but it was pigeon toed in like the other one, but not nearly as severe, and it was even on both sides. I can probably learn to live with that. I mean, you're talking about a $140 headache rack here. It'll keep us from knocking the back glass out, it is what it is. Other than that, assembly simple. It also comes with a ladder rack attachment up here. I might put a picture in this video with it put on there. It depends on how motivated I get here in a minute. Uh, might end up cutting those off flush with the cab so they're not sticking up. But, um, I mean, for $140, it looks okay on the truck. Other than this here, the biggest problem is this is half-inch hardware. And um, you get up in here, and there's like there should be a stake pocket in the bed. So you can't put a bolt in except for, like, right there. And I don't really want to put two half-inch holes that close together in these bedsides. So that's one thing to note. Um... Might drill a 3 8 hole here, put a slightly smaller bolt. It really doesn't wobble. Like, I mean, you got to really force back and forth on it to get it to wiggle front and back. Should be plenty fine for what I was worried about, which was throwing firewood in the truck, putting the four-wheeler up in here, you know, things like that. It should be all right for that. Um, I was kind of hitting this with the don't give a fuck attitude today. Uh, the J10 gave me troubles on the way home with the new carburetor. That might be a video. Um, this thing is made by Elevate Outdoors. It's 140 bucks. It's all aluminum. It's packed real nice. I mean, it is what it is. Fit and finish is pretty good for the price. I mean, I kind of, I don't know. We'll see. Would I suggest you put it on your Gladiator? Probably not. I mean, to be honest with you, I just really don't care. It looks okay. You know, I'm probably being a little bit nitpicky about this right here, but it for the money, it's fine. It looks all right on the truck, in my opinion, and we'll just move along with it. So, uh, yeah, for a cheap option, seems to work all right. Um, I just couldn't condone spending six hundred dollars on something made specifically for the Gladiator. It, I don't. I couldn't do it. It's not worth the money to me. Um, this will add the protection we need. I did shoot some paint on those holes we drilled, so that hopefully shouldn't rust too bad. But fuck it, rust is off. The top of the bed rails will fucking get one of them aluminum uh, flatbeds that you can import from Australia maybe when the truck's paid off or something. I saw I was in New Zealand recently and I saw some of them on a, on Gladiators and on uh, Hiluxes and boy they sure look nice. And they're actually really cheap. It's just getting them shipped to the damn states. They're like, like more than doubles the price of them. So uh, anyway, y'all have a good one. I think it turned out all right for my needs. It'll look okay. I'll learn to live with it on this whole mounting on the side. Might come back at it and cut them off level with the cab, though. That's, that's about the only thing. Uh, I need to figure out putting some 3 8 bolts in here if I decide to do that. If not, I might just try to get some camper top clamps and put right there uh, since we have one physical bolt on each side. But it lines up on the cab pretty well, follows the contour of the cab okay. I think it looks all right. So, y'all have a good one, and uh, maybe we'll do something exciting in another video.